now I want to talk about uh, the song Midnight Sun by Tenezi. By Tenezi. Everything's around, everything's around. The song is Midnight Sun by Tenezi. Let me be your midnight sun. I will love you when the dame is done. I will love you, Jackie Dame is done. He checks the darkness. And when the darkness comes, we can have a way to light it up. And I'd be the, the way to light it up. I went down the line. Scott White, Trav White, uh, Tyrone White, Aldo, Toshi Jr., Chris Pittman, Big Gene Atwalt, Spider Webb, J Bo, Lil Neil and James. Bubba, motherfucker, Charlie Moss and Ducky Dave Moss, Samoan, uh, Richard Coleman, Montreal, Honey Eric, the whole neighborhood, Andre Gaines, David McDonald, Robert Hall, Mike McDonald, nobody had one. Albert Tamayo, Jerry Sainz, Art of Royal up the street, White David, Herb, his brother, White Danny, Damien, the Monroe family, Carlton. I said, hey, I'm the small guy, Black Mike. He didn't even have one. I said, yeah, Black Mike didn't have one to get shot. He don't know. So, like, he's out here with the, the green caped assassin. Dude. I heard putting in work, right? Doing the damn thing. You know, I'm going crazy. OG take off, you know, beat up the big, big D low, shake night looking dude. 6'3, 425 pounds running up on me. <laughs> Two on one. I'm not going out for nobody. Fuck this. Sex, watch this shit like that. I'm brainwashing Shaq the whole time. Two on one. And they ain't, oh, come on, young son, calm down. And they go out, you know? So I told you, I'm not going out for nobody, man. Fuck you, nigga. What's happening? Then we got a uh, Chris. I just took off on him. Bam! Two on one. Woke up. So whoever this is, I'm taking off on. So we watch shit like that, too. Is there anybody? Is that right? Some big niggas in the neighborhood. Some big motherfuckers in this motherfucker, right? I wake up, it's like 2 a.m. niggas is fucking talking right me. There's nobody around, nobody. Under the bridge downtown is where I drew some blood. Under the bridge downtown, I could not get enough. Under the bridge downtown. See two on ones like that, two times, big D Loke and, and the linebacker, Kev Loke size, and then the, the Chris Pittman and the. Uh, of the dark skin brothers, both of them own swole 205 muscles and shit. I'm 185. The slim build cut up. I'm, I'm, I got a six pack and cuts and stuff, but I'm not big, you know. Under the bridge downtown, I took my life away. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be too much for a normal nigga. Normal or weak, but I was normal. I, those fights were. Well, they weren't normal. That wasn't normal. I was still cheated. But I still took off. Damn hard. I said, I had power shots. I had power shots. It's a difference. Do stuff like that. So it's an AG sings about, you know. Dedicated to all the mothers in the neighborhood, you know. We need a strong a strong soldier. Yeah. <laughs> Why was so much peace was in the neighborhood? They were like, no one believed it was me. Genuinely like, are you serious? They got Ain't Black no Mike. OG. Black Mike, big toast. I don't toast. know what you're talking about. You got Black Mike, you got big toast, you got big Andre Gaines, you got, you know, some big motherfuckers in the neighborhood. But it was pro athletes. nobody was on pro athletes, right? Lil Rico in the front yard smoking with Black Mike. It's like 2002 to the. Black Mike with the honey oil blunt, right? He started talking with them through the early eight. We get high, they start talking about, hey, who got one? Hey, is that, is that right? I'm Big Black Mike, is that right? I got me one, Black Mike. Hey, you might have me one, but I got me one. Shit. Hey, yep, I got me one. It's the only because I've been pissed off for the last, you know, six months. You get, you pissed off. Now I'm, you start realizing your ability, your potential. Janky Damon never said that. Daddy Rich, Richard Coleman, Damon, nobody ever said no shit like that, Black Mike. I'm the smallest out of all of them. So damn, this little nigga said he has one. Then they sent our minds up to Eddie Children, Black Mike passed, rest in peace. I said that. If they sent her, what would happen? Who's appropriate to send down there? Black Mike might just scare everybody and get cheated by the NFL when they come around. Me, I'm a small guy, I won't scare everybody. And I'm a nice personality. 
Unless you have to win everybody over long distance, defenses, and boxers. I didn't know I was one, but I started realizing I was one, yep, 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 back then. Telling Black Mike I got me one. He like Kimbo Slice size. So then, uh, everybody sees my, 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 my little temperament change, I'm talking about fighting. Uh, Shaq come to town after, after we see me knock he, he knock out Big Rich, you know. I catch him across the street, bam, knock him out, broke my hand, and then I broke another, bam, then I hit a seven on one, he quit right there. With the D Lokes and Emerald Hills nigga, bam, 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 bam. One hitter quitter trap. Bam, this thing. I don't feel like I'm in Alex. It should probably be in Alex. Lathan went into tears. It probably Shaq going into tears. So then we fast forward. Shaq said, you just been, they were just pumping me up. You know what I mean? I, I ain't really the winner, not the bona fide genuine winner or nothing. I forgot I, forgot I went out. Okay. Nigga Dave Moss and them said it was at, at Shaq. He's their real boss, so it was at him. Like, hey, you ain't catching this nigga's face. Hey, 20 and 0, 30 and 0. Hey, come on, Shaq. Hey, 40 or 30 and 0, 40 and 0. You know? What's going on, man? So Shaq backed out of there in 2004. Then he said, Little Rico has no reason to be afraid of me. Probably does have the information of peace. Peaceful messenger on earth and all the all the peace money, right? For Mandingos. In, in this western region. So God bless baby. So Shaq backed the fuck up out of there. And uh years later I get out of the pen and you know, you know they try to do blue Ivy stuff, hurting the baby and newborn and Beyonce. You know. On my way out the pen, they gonna hurt the baby, and you know we know all of that story, right? But they hurt Blue Ivy, and you know, be had to decapitate the baby's head, newborn, first time they seen her. LeBron James was was was, was, was spotted doing that. Blue Ivy said, "Hey, they, her and her father is even investigated that dude and was spied on him, going to do somebody else." So they saw him doing the exact same thing. So they said, well, it "Must have been LeBron going to the penitentiary doing what he was doing." You know, some justification here for Blue Ivy. And it's true. Her public information bangs on that dude. So you know he's right there with Shaquille O'Neal, the Miami Heat, and all that stuff. Shaq on the way into the penitentiary. Uh, LeBron on the way out of the penitentiary. Miami Heat. That was around. Right? So uh, I get out. I do my little pro time holocaust. That All that baits in... Baits in uh, Hollywood and NBA and NFL salivating. Then they could catch me on campus because I ain't, I ain't studied in two days. When they see me try to study during those few years, I was five minutes and I was just, so I couldn't concentrate. So I just didn't got no education. That's all he was doing in the penitent. And with this OB boxing long enough, they go to sleep. And I realized you did study. They, they had spies watching me study all the time. So they just went to sleep. When they really reali don't realize, Holy Spirit said it was tricking them. Running in my short routes, I'm in the fastest way at the camp. Or my short routes, when the, when the star DB get on, you run a deep route. He's expecting the short route. That's all, you, that's all he sees. That's why. It's a priest not breed. Trickery. So they just, just, you know, just some real foul shit to me that they get to do back to them. If they want to join and touch the business like that, dumb in the motherfucker if you owe something like that. Well, we may not owe nothing. We may be just close cold getting jumped in the video. All I want for my birthday is a big booty girl. All I want for my birthday is a big booty girl. Get it, girl, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. You know? So I get out here and they bring it up. Shaq says, yep, back in 2004, he got me, but I backed out. I forgot, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot about it. You guys been pumping me up too much over the years. Like, I'm just the highest guy around. Like, Hollywood's pumped me up too much. I really did lose before. And I lost to somebody else before, so it ain't like, you know. Even a small guy. You know, made me weak before, you know. I just backed out of it. So I come across Shaq, nigga, like. I come across Shaq, like, uh, that was wrong. I come across Shaq down here twice, twice, right in the gas lamp. Down the street, you know, if I'm coming on the block, and I walk up on it, like, right, right here on this corner. It was one block down, or two blocks down, but it was like this. As soon as I get closer, and you take out running. Psh, big motherfucking Shaq, 6'8", 6'7", 6'5", 6'3", 6'2", he gets about 6'1", and take out running. Pshong. 
the gym. He had two homies. I got the gloves. They buy, these guys down the box. I got a YouTube. I need a YouTube uh, sparring partner. Uh, three minute rounds. He's like, nah, we ain't answering. Say, hey, what the big fella? You answering the boxes? What's the, what's the, so, 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 your big homies. You, you think he's down the box? I'm gonna ask him. Hey, you down the box? No, I'm not interested in fighting. Look, like, twin Shack. He went back to six eight when he went away from me. Father, he got away from me. The next day, I'm roll over, sit down, slack, chop yourself, slap yourself, pick your nose and eat it. And he doing this shit, right? He see me doing shit like that. I don't feel like babysitting this big mother, fat, 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 bitch ass nigga, all day. Nigga, from for weeks and months, what the fuck was? Nigga. So he peep me, telling him to do shit like that, right? Across the street, he, he on this side. He's walked by. He first he stopped to see what I, I would say. He looked at. He looked. He let me see him. See if I'll, I'll stop or not. I don't. I stopped, but I said, you know, what, fair ones, fair ones, from the shoulders, fair ones all day. I don't give a fuck. You got a green shirt on, lime green shirt on, black hat, black shorts, nigga. You got black shoes. Just nigga, seven foot, five hundred pounds. I don't give a fuck who you are, but he looking about six nine across the street. Seven foot, five hundred pounds. I don't give a fuck who. Walking with a red bone and all black, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you are. Fair ones, all anybody get out of pocket, nigga. Anybody get out of pocket. So I told him. I ain't gonna do nothing but get paranoid and my my body fast. He killed with the, with the bribe. I just nigga was looking for a, for a, for a, for a, for, a, for me to do like a faggot shit. I don't know. fag business. Like calm down for him. Man, hell no. Nah. Start cheat me. Hell no. Nah. I ain't part of that shit. So then, uh. So then, uh. The first time I he was on, he was on the trolley, looking like a hobo. And I'm out here, and I look at him. He go, how come Rico ain't firing on me? I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? Some, somebody's grandfather. He said, I'm Shaq. He, but they, they said, that's Shaq. Said, it, don't look, it don't look like Shaq, nigga. I'm looking, who the fuck is. We don't why I'm not punching take mom. I said, I'll, I'll, if I fuck this dude in a boxing match, if I challenge him, all, all the grandma be pissed off at me. I'm beating up on some old, some old man. I said, hell nah, man. I'm, hey, I'm looking for the seven footer. What the fuck is this? What fuck I'm gonna do with you, man? Somebody look like somebody's grandfather. 5'11, afro. Missing here down the middle like Ronald McDonald, nigga. He was all fucked up. In, in disguise. Costume, right? So I said, hey. Yeah, he got off the trolley. He was embarrassed. He just looked at himself like, damn, mama. He didn't realize how small he was. Not once, not twice. Then I'm, I'm then, then the fourth time I'm up, up in uh, Oceanside. I'm at the beach. And he started he running his mouth. Like, he, he up there spying on me and shit. Right? Follow me up there to live up there, right? He had a spot up there. They, put, they moved the studio up there. You know, they, 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 can, they can move to the Mesa. So they can move to Oceanside and do whatever they do. He said he got a little spot. He tells the girls, like, he tells us when he's in town. He, he got a way to tell women and not tell us. I said, damn, is, is that right? Yep, Shaq's doing a big time like that. He said he told us to tell everything you ever had, but... Hey. He put you to sock him in the face like he did Snoop Dogg. Ran up on seven homies, shit like that. See if you'll do it or not. I said, man, I'll slice Shaq. Tell a nigga to come outside. I'll slice Shaq. He didn't want to come outside. The girls went around where he was at. Some girls with him, some girls outside. They communicate with each other and shit. Nigga Shaq ain't trying to come outside. Shaq's a bitch ass faggot. He said, well, fuck, we're gonna steal everything Shaq ever had. Pink toes and shit. All the white girls, soul buddies and shit. Hey, he told us to steal everything you, because just for telling us to steal everything you ever had and go out. And go out. So then the. Another time, right over on this corner, right, the, right where that 7-Eleven's at. See down there on, on the corner? I was walking down the street, walking this way across the street. I didn't even peep him. Somebody said, that might be your real Maria Menounos. Someone said, that might be your real Maria, Maria Menounos. So I turn, I look, it's a girl crossing the street. I'm gonna do it right here. And he's over there. When I see, I'm over here. I see her here. He's there on the corner. He's standing there. Big motherfucker. Green shirt on again, big hat. Nigga, 6'9. Nah, he fucking about 6'6, 395, a little bit smaller. Big motherfucker, though. That's damn near 400 pounds. I said, well, 
from the from Raymond Rose Maniac. I said, hey, I got my boxing gloves. I said, hey, are you Shaq? If you, if you are, you owe me a fight. You owe me a fight. If you are Shaq, you owe me one. If you are, it's a, are you are you Shaquille O'Neal? Hey, big fella. Hey, big guy. Nigga just mobbed off like, ignored me and just dipped. So, well, and still, heavyweight champ of the world, pussy player wives. What was the last one? Last one is in Hollywood. Nigga come on a boulevard with seven, with seven, with seven, uh, with seven homies. Like Snoop Dogg from the coast. He really wanted to do this shit, right? So then I, I didn't see him. I had my back to these niggas. They walk, they walk by me behind my back, like this. He had six homies with. Him. He's the number seven. And he had one the red bone with him again. And they walked by, and they said, "Hey, that's that's Shaq, right?" So I look. They all got dreadlocks. They tall, six four, six five. You want that? Oh, oh the, the 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 box? Yeah, you want that? Oh, go 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 go. go. It's a little bit left. You can have it. Thank you, father. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's about six of them, and it, but they're all about six five, right? Six four, six five, and it's six of them. And the, one, the closest one to me is about three feet away, and he's about 12, 13 feet away in the front of the line with the, with the red, red bone. And they talking to the alien, and that's Shaq. I said, I said, I said, they don't look like Shaq. I'm out of my own mouth. What's that? That's my shirt. That's my shirt. That's my, I used to wipe my uh, face. Yeah. Mind if I use some of the twenty? I can't do it, but you know I'm out here a homeless man. Like you know what I mean? I got. I got. I really am. You wouldn't you believe it, but I really am. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. So let me give uh, back to the story. It's six or seven of them, and I, uh, I said, he, I said that ain't Shaq. They stopped. They was waiting for me like. That. I said, well, it don't look like Shaq. If it is, he's about six four with the with that nigga six four six five. That day, I said, if it is, I'll slide him right now. I'll run up on him right now in front of his homeboy and slide him. I'll slide Shaq right now. Hollywood Boulevard got paranoid. Those nice people got paranoid, and they when you didn't they didn't use this shit like that. So, and I got gloves on. I said he ain't saying any Shaq though. All he got to do is confirm his name. So when he said, I'll, I'll slide, I'll run him. I promise you, I'll run him right now. I ain't playing. I'll run him right now and slide Shaq. And uh, he wouldn't say nothing. The nigga just ignore me again. What's the nigga on some tranquilizers? What the fuck is wrong with Shaq? He's just, they just mobbed off. Fuck it. Shaq got embarrassed. So he's off. Oh, and still, heavyweight champ of the world, pussy player wives. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. That's right. Pound for pound. That's right. Vroom, 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 vroom. So lots of the songs about all the mothers. We got Miss Nobles. We got Miss Monroe. Uh, Miss Minaji. Inga. We got Miss Moss. We got the Walters family. We got you know Mr. Reynolds and in, in, in the family. So I'm a to protect her peace of quiet in the neighborhood growing up. It was all true until you know the, the youngsters set me up to have you know for failures and death. You know, and all they wanted to do was benefit and become like me. You know, like basketball, fo football players, and I had no idea they envied me that much. And just to do loan me that much. I said, wow, to this very day, that's their little faggot ass deals. All exposed. I hear it's gonna be crushed. Crush the movement. This is I'm already here, genuine. Like I said, I'm the record breaker, so if you can play lazy basketball, my abilities, you'll never break a you'll never break a record. You'll never break a record. That's that's, that's a garbage conversation. Blood money. That punky James is out here making this very day yellow and white power as a black man. Blood money, willing to kill babies, willing to kill, hurt, hurt, rape and pillage, laugh at people and be mean to everybody. That kind of loser. Sick, and be a big giant guy to scare people too. So wow, so those losers look like. And I have a whole bunch of uh, faggot army with them. 
That's why I'm not fond of, of the NBA stand, standing power, staying on TV. Rather than go off TV in a parallel league, non-racist, reflecting, you know, at least half the coaches are should be black. NFL as well, crush the NFL, revamp it, change the name. Let's get at least at least half the coaches black. At least half. Maybe even more than half. So we don't send black men out here to, to die, sacrifice and stuff like that. But the reason why I keep keep wanted to keep the athletes around for Mandingo's uh the continuity of Mandingo's movement. Uh athletes, people wanting to work out, stay in shape. Inspired to, to run and jog and sprint and play basketball and football. There's, there's no inspiration. We're gonna be fat camp. You know? So that's all I'm trying to say. But we're gonna give it at least, at least the ones that the all-stars. They are the big lots that sold out big time and in their movie and they got these, you know. They're all doing you know sell out movies and sell out things to, to extreme levels of pain. So let me be your midnight sun. She says the morning's at home skyline. I will love you when the day is done. I will love you when the game is done. Dave's in the Twin Towers down the block. Damien's down here in the city building. You know what I mean? Dave's doing orgies up to Damien's over here, you know, smoke weed on top of the roof every now and then. Zoned out. City work around. Let me be your man, that son. I will love you when the game is done. I will love you, Jackie Dave is done. And when the darkness comes, I put on my green cake. Just hanging around. In the coast, mobbing. <laughs> Undefeated, 53 and 0 legacy now, about 67 and 0. Just had another fight last night, so I took off on me. I said, like, man, the fat guy, I'll talk about it. I'll try to upload this. <laughs>